Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at Messages for Web. It's a new feature that's rolling out to Android Messages that enables us to use our PC to send and receive text messages through our phone. And the cool thing about it is it doesn't actually work over Wi-Fi alone. It works over mobile data. So I'm going to share with you guys the process on how to get this thing set up. If you don't have the feature yet, there's also a link that will give you guys access to be able to turn this on today. Um, but also, how does it look on our PC? This is TK and this is XDA TV. PC interface is pretty simple. It actually kind of looks like we're running in tablet mode. As you'll notice, your messages are on the left, your conversations are on the right. Um, you have the ability of going through archives, jumping between different conversations, and of course, your new messages or messages that come through are highlighted. And generally, if you're not on this tab, let's say you switch over to another tab, you'll start getting a notification count as well as desktop notifications if you turn those on. Uh, the initial setup requires us to do a one step go to messages.android.com and if you are able to see the messages for web within your phone messages meaning on your phone if you click the three dots on the top right and you see the messages for web uh, using that option you'll be able to scan this qr code and then of course turning on remembering or not remembering this pc uh, you can use this over mobile data or on wi-fi now we're going to be using it on mobile data for me i've already set it up and then once we sync it direct, uh, directly together you're going to be able to get this interface uh, for me, I did not get this option yet as it's slowly rolling out. What I recommend you for you guys is to follow this thread and I'll give you guys a link in the description below. Uh, Michal put out an article on the XDA portal referencing the process to be able to do this. Now we do need root, so you need to download Preference Manager as, for, and as well as obviously you know the latest version of Android Messages. Follow the step-by-step -step process to be able to enable the QR code scanning functionality. Once you have that done, you'll be able to actually scan it on that website and then it'll give you access to this. As far as the settings we have, uh, it's pretty simple. We have notifications turned on, the accessibility for keyboard shortcuts, data use messages, remember this computer, dark theme mode, which I have turned on, message preview is what we're seeing here on the left. And again, just nice. And you also have high contrast mode if you need that. Uh, overall, pretty much pretty easy. It's the same way you used it on your phone, you're using it on the web. Uh, people and options gives you the ability of adding and removing people from a conversation so you can have a group conversation here archiving deleting or sending feedback and it works pretty much like a regular pc sending messages now you can send messages to text uh, to existing contacts as well as emails as when you go into a new conversation it says type in name phone number or email and that'll get you running uh, but i wanted to share with you guys how does this look actually between the web and our phone so i've already kind of done some tests uh, and it will give you a message if the message is too large for us to be able to send. So I'm going to go ahead and send a quick, simple text, say test. And I'm sending it to myself, so you're going to see it both right and left. But the main intention here is to see that it shows up from the right to the left and how fast it goes. And I'm showing you here, obviously, on the phone. Uh, you're able to use the, again, the main emojis here. They're all built in. And you can select them, do whatever you want with them here, and then say send. Uh, you also have sticker access and different sticker packs that are already installed and you can use those. Uh, the other thing you notice, it does give you the timing of when these messages were sent. So if I click on it once, it opens it up. If I click it again, it goes away. And I'm also able to copy or delete this message directly from my phone. The process of getting this running on your device is very simple. It's a rolling out feature. So sooner or later, you should be able to see this as long as you're running the latest version of Android messages. If you don't and you have root, I'll give you guys an article in the description below that will give you the process of turning it on right now. Other than that, you'll be able to use this, uh, really save yourself from having to pull out your phone. And more than likely, if you're on a PC, there's going to be a web browser open. So keeping that open in a browser or in a tab is going to be really functional. And again, you can actually interact and all of that is basically sent through your phone. So all your conversations on your phone will sync up uh, and you can respond to your local uh, contacts and all of that stuff. It just pretty much works as if you're on your phone. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like and subscribe as usual. Again, if you don't have it on, you want to turn it on, you have root, check that article in the description below. But again, thank you for the support. Like and subscribe to this channel. Like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.